This is part one of a project where I want to be lifting and raising, well, in this one I'll be lowering and raising my tonneau cover using lift actuators. Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. Today we're gonna to grab a tonneau cover from not this truck, but it's gonna be on this truck. It's gonna go over to that truck, which is right there, or right there, whatever. Um, and I'll show you in a little bit after we do all this, because I have to take off the tunnel cover, take off the back rack, which is actually for that truck there. But since it's not on the road, I've kept it on this truck because I need to transport a ladder. But my friend needs a ladder, so I've kept the project going. <laughs> wow, that's complicated. Anyways, I'm going to rip all this stuff off so I can grab the tunnel cover and yeah. So the tunnel cover is now off and next time you see me, I will be loading it. So because of technical difficulties, it's actually one day later where I'm showing up to Buddy's place to load the tunnel cover. So I finally found where he was, just flipping around, getting myself situated, found the entrance to the building. And once I'm there, I go in, talk to him for a little bit, find out about the tunnel cover, check things and whatnot, and then we load it. So 24 hours later, got the tunnel cover and uh, just loaded up, just uh, strapped it down best I could. Uh, we're not gonna take the highway back. I don't think that would be a wise choice, especially with the speeds everybody's going these days. Um, but 40 over if, uh, and that's uh, when you're going slow. So we're gonna be taking the back roads. So I had my camera rolling when I came up to this because I wanted to get some time-lapse footage, some actual video footage of driving through the farmland area because I love the look of the scenery. And unfortunately, I came across this accident. Nobody was hurt in the accident. I got out and I wanted to check to make sure everybody was okay, see if they needed my help. Once I got out of my vehicle and I had my four ways on, the fire department ended up uh, showing up as far as like land cruisers and whatnot. So emergency was on site within seconds, which is amazing. So once I realized that I was useless, I left the site, there was other people getting out of their vehicles and making sure everybody was okay as well. And I just went on my way once I knew the situation was under control. The only reason why I got out of my vehicle was to make sure that everyone was safe. To make sure that if there was anything I could do, it could be done. Once I got out of my vehicle, the first responders actually showed up and started making sure everybody was safe. So I did my part and got out of their way. So originally I was just gonna pick it up and then move it over, move it over to the other truck on the side here. I moved her van. Um, I just didn't want to do it. Her window's down though, so hopefully it doesn't rain. I'll probably have to go and put that up. Um, so we're gonna move this truck behind that truck, and um, we'll see how it works out because I took all the straps off the bed. I don't think it'll be a problem. It's not sure easier. As you can see, 
My driveway is epic. Neighbors are probably like, what the f is he doing now? There's the beast. Bloop. Tailgates are open. I'm gonna take a look. You know what? I could just walk over it. We're good. I don't want to smash my tailgate, smash my other tailgate, have two tailgates smashed. Nobody wants that. Well, maybe somebody, but not me. <sighs> so, right here, as I've done many times before with like truck covers and tunnel covers and all sorts of things, I use my own body to lift it out. And the important part in doing this is to find the best balance point that's most comfortable as you can. Right now, you'll see the cover going up and down because I'm trying to see how I can personally lift it to where it is as easy as possible. As I call this, this is my turtle walk. And I still gotta flip the tunnel cover around as I'm balancing it. And then I gotta uh, go backwards. Well, once I get across the truck to truck, and then I have to turn it around. So effectively, I kind of have to go backwards a little bit and then set it down. However, here, and I didn't know this at the time, my truck bed is actually lower, like smaller in height than my GM truck bed. And I'm crouched down, and as you can see here, I'm having extreme amount of difficulty. It was actually quite hilarious. Like I had to actually force my legs out so that I could actually kind of slide my butt out of there and then get out of the tunnel cover it was ridiculous and painful and awkward and all the best things possible. <laughs> I made it safely. That was fun. Not. Now it's just time to install the tunnel cover, get it all properly situated. There's two tracks either side. Make sure you don't get them backwards. I did that at first. And then you connect the shocks and then you're done. So very easy process. I'm going to skip that. As you guys know, I know. Tunnel cover. Sorry, it took me a second to refigure that one out. Installed there, lubricated it all up. Doesn't actually go up, so I made a little uh, stand, if you will. And uh, she's looking good. So, I'm gonna let her down. We'll take another look at it. Now, as you see here, I'm gonna let it down. The tailgate doesn't close properly. It's something to do with the latch mechanism. Not too worried about that. But I'm letting it down here, and then I realize, oh, it's gotta back a little bit further. So I will be doing that a little bit later. Not too worried about it now. The bolts have to line up. So the latches have to line up with the bolts that come out. And yes, they are bolts. Somebody must have had to fix something back when they had this cover in operation. Either way, not a big deal. And it turned out to be pretty good. I'm happy with that. So looks pretty daggone good. Come around to the other side. All the same lines. I'm happy with that. So I'll figure out the adjustments later. All in all. She works. Now that part one is complete, actually getting the tunnel cover, it is on to doing the research and development phase where we're going to get either four actuators or two actuators with building a ratcheting mechanism built out of wood that had a metal and see if we can raise and lower the uh, tunnel cover. So thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one. Peace!